Welcome back to another QVScribe training session. In this video, we'll be looking at the reporting functions in QVScribe. Let's jump right in. To generate a report, click on the Create Report button at the bottom of the analysis pane. A window will appear for you to set your location and file name of the analysis report, as well as configure how the report should present the analysis results. Once your settings are set, press Create. I would like to mention that to maintain the integrity of the report, it is only available in PDF format. Many customers like to use this report in requirement review meetings. It tends to aid in focusing the meeting on the context of the troubled areas of the requirement document rather than the syntax. Let's take a look at what is in the full report. On the first page, we have document title, analysis date, the configuration used, and the total number of analyzed requirements. On the next page, we have score summary, detailing the number of requirements within each score. After that, we have analysis breakdown for each quality indicator and how many requirements had issues with it. Then we have the list of individual requirements with their corresponding scores, terminology highlighting, and analysis details. Then we have both unit and term consistency showing the issues that were presented, abbreviations, and the number of requirements associated with the found issue. Next is a list of all the terms found within the document. Scrolling a bit further, we have the summary of similarity analysis. Now we have come to the final portion of the report, the configuration used to analyze a document. That ends this training session. Up next, we have configurations.